this video, I'm going to be showing how to install the push button catch for your RV drawers. That way, when you go around the turn real fast, you don't accidentally have the door fly open. It happens every now and then. Press the button. If it's locked in place, will not come back out. It doesn't matter if you're using the original door fronts or have replacement door fronts. The process is the same. These are the latches I installed. You can get them on Amazon and eBay. I use these screws in place of the latch catch to give me a little bit more adjustment for height. A 26 millimeter drill bit will make it a whole lot easier to install. And of course you will need a drill, tape measure, and pencil, screwdrivers, Phillips, and number two squares. All set screwdrivers and power tools will make it a little bit easier. First thing I do is assign each drawer a number. Now with a pencil and paper, write down the measurements you're about to take. Get the, the center of the door. You want to measure the door, which this door is 18 and a quarter, and divide it by two, which would give you a nine and an eighth to give you the center point of the door. These drawers are the same width, so I will only have to take this measurement once. I want the latch to sit flush edge with the inside plywood. So the next measurement is going to be from the top of the plywood in the drawer to the top edge of the drawer front. You will have to do this to each drawer because they will have different measurements. Now I'm going to get a measurement from the latch to add to each of those measurements. So I know how far to bring it down to drill the hole. It is exactly one inch. I add a sixteenth of an inch to that to give me one and one sixteenth to give me a little bit of working room. Now I will add one sixteenth to each of the prior measurements. I'm working on drawer number two which has a measurement of two and one eighth inches. These are the measurements I want to mark on this drawer to drill. It's two and an eighth inches down and nine and one eighth to the center. So basically the first thing you do is you measure down two and an eighth, take the door measurement, divide it in half, which is nine and an eighth, which is right there, and that'll give you the crosshair of where you want to drill. Now you can take your spade, your um, foster bit or spade bit, whatever you have, right on that mark. <laughs> I only had a one inch bit, which is only 25.4 millimeter. So I'm gonna have to take a drill and widen the hole just a little bit to get the bezel to fit. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Go around a little bit. There we go. That should be good enough work. And just take a little rubber mallet. So it's flush. Now it's flush. You can take the latch mechanism and slide it in and see how it looks. Right there will be good. Hold it level. Give it a push so it stays. side do the same thing make sure that is operating the way it should make sure it works it's working perfect because of course when you press it it's not going to stick because you don't have the latch there to catch it now with the latch installed it's time to install the catch what i recommend though is elongating these holes to get, be able to give you some adjustment so you can slide it back and forth just take a, a drill bitting and just work this and you want to work it back and forth. You don't need much, you just want a little bit. Now you have a little bit of adjustment, you can go back and forth. If you use these, here's a tip. A little trick I found is to put a little bit of double face tape on this. That way you can hold it in place while you put the screws in. Instead of using the L bracket catch, I recommend using two of these screws in its place. 
Now, if you have one of these, it makes it pretty easy to put the screws in. If you don't, you probably have to remove the drawer and use a screwdriver or a straight bit with a drill to put them in. Here, you just put them in dead center where the latch will catch. I've already put one in, now I'm gonna put the other. Now with those all the way up, I know this is the same height as this, right here. They're the same height. So what I'm gonna do is lower these down so I'm gonna lower these down to when I open this, it touches. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Okay, I lower that down, let's see. And I can see it barely touches it. So I wanna come up a little bit. Just a little. This is where the offset screwdriver comes in handy. They come in different style, and this is the number two square head. Reach up, and you can adjust it with this also. In fact, I think it's easier to adjust it with this, because you can get precise movements instead of using the drill. That is perfect. Now I'm gonna bring the other one down to be the same height. Pull them out, and they're both the exact same height. Now with those being the exact same height now, I'm gonna shut the drawer with the latch out and it should hit, not letting me taking it in. Undo the latch, push it in, press the button, it's nice and secure, and that is set. The best thing about using screws, you don't have to worry about the gap and putting spacers. A lot of the gap room, between too much the door room, edge like and the drawer opening is too so big. To put some spaces underneath so the you would have to wind bring, up putting some spacers between the bracket and the drawer opening so to, to have it come down low enough down. for the latch to be able to catch. The screws With are the so much screws, easier. screws, it's just back them out a little bit more. With the length of these screws, you can adjust easily how far down it comes, but no problem. Now let's say this is a good fit right there. You can still use the screws or you can use the L bracket and just put it in with this flush against the front edge and put the screws in and that's how it will go on. I still use that, the same screws to hold it on. Next video we'll be installing Southco compression latches on the kitchen drawers plus replacing the closet doors and the bathroom cabinet hinges with soft close hinges and adding magnetic catches. So it soft closes to protect the mirror and latches tightly so it will not swing open and lock it. driving so down the road. Turn the light off. And there you go.